Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have this, the Knight of Swords. So this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with any of these signs. So this is an energy of someone coming towards you with in a haste a bit. This person really wants to um, express some sort of truth to you. This person wants to take control of the situation. And I do see that they have some news to tell you. This person is, um, there is a bit of a rushed energy from them. So I do see that they're rushing in towards you and they want to speak their truth to you. So this person, I do see that they're very ready to initiate things. They want to take control of the situation. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Scorpio. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Three of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next, we have the Seven of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally we have the devil in the reverse so this is capricorn energy okay so i am seeing that this is someone who you feel a very strong att attraction to this person is very tied to you and this person has a fear of losing you with that devil energy i do see that this person there may be some obsessive energy there could be some addictions um this person there is this very strong tie a very intense pull towards you and i do see this person not wanting to let you go this person is afraid of losing you but i do see that there are some secrets this person has been keeping from you with that seven of swords this could be deceptive energy this could be um them being very calculating trying their best to make sure that you don't know about something and i do see that with the devil card that can also be an unhealthy attachment an unhealthy situation and i do see there's some toxicity in the connection so this person they kept some secrets from you and they don't want you to find out about it but i do see that with that knight of swords they're rushing in towards you to express something because they, they want to speak their truth about something. With the devil being in the reverse, I see that you may be freeing yourself from this connection. The devil in the reverse is, you know, you wanting healthier connections. You wanting to attach more to people who you feel you can trust. You may feel like you can't trust this person. Something about the situation is not fulfilling and I do see that you're wanting something more um, healthy. So this person, they may have some bad habits and you recognize that and you don't want to be a part of that anymore. I see you moving away from that. You're moving away from this person and you're waiting for your real soulmates. You may recognize that this is more of a karmic person and that you want something healthier. So I see you letting this go. You're freeing yourself from this connection and this person is chasing after you. This person doesn't want you to go to um you know to let you go because this person has an obsession this person is obsessed with you this person they have um they're insecurely attached and i do see that they're not going to let you go easily with that knight of swords energy this is them chasing to make sure that you don't leave them but i do see that you're not interested in this person um or this connection anymore there is an emphasis on you wanting healthier um more fruitful connections than this so i do see this person wants to keep you stuck in a codependent pattern they don't want you to leave them they want to trap you in this connection but ultimately i see that they're coming towards you with some news some sort of communication as well with that knight of swords so scorpio let's clarify these cards
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card. Okay, so this is your energy. This is Scorpio energy. And I see this is, again, a, an energy of someone wanting a second chance. So this person is going to fight for you. I do see this person is not going to let you go without a fight. They're holding on very tightly. They are addicted to this connection. There is a very insecure attachment. This person doesn't want to let go. And I do see them wanting or begging for a second chance with this judgment card. This person is literally chasing you and wanting a second chance they're not going to let this go so i do see that this person is very um they feel very tied and bonded to you so they're not ready to let this go and it's up to you now it's almost like the ball is in your court scorpio you have to decide if you want to give this person a second chance or not but i do see you being more focused on um, wanting something else with that three of wands that's you waiting for your real soulmate you may feel like this person isn't it and um you're waiting for that and you're waiting for your ships to come in as well is what i'm seeing so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Scorpio. Okay, so next we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Then next we have the Six of Pentacles, more Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally we have the King of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Okay, so with that, se that Seven of Pentacles again, I do see that you're waiting patiently for your real soulmate. Who you, you're perceiving this person as not being it. And you're waiting very patiently. But you're, you're starting to lose faith. You're or starting to have doubts with that seven of pentacles. Because you're not seeing um, this new energy coming around. I do see that you may be wondering where is this person. You've planted seeds. You've manifested. You've, you've left behind a toxic connection. In hopes of attracting someone better for yourself. And this is you now, you know, wanting to see the results the fruits of your labor and not seeing it but the thing about the seven of pentacles energy is that when it comes to this energy this is the kind of energy where a lot is happening behind the scenes but um on the surface you may not be seeing but this is actually your manifestations are coming to fruition scorpio um it's just a matter of you needing to have patience but it's a lot that's happening here a lot is being birthed this tree is very abundant and i do see that it's just a matter of time before your ships come in with the three of wands this is success so i do see you about to attract a new person someone who's um more compatible with you this person will be more generous this will be someone who's balanced someone who's um a very noble person i am seeing a humble person a giver this is someone with a, a kind heart and um this is someone who who will really match your energy is what i'm seeing they're not going to be like that past devil person i do see this person as being more um more balanced in who they are they there's no addictions i'm seeing a very a more healthy person with this new person so this person is coming in and this could be a fire sign as well with that king of wands i do see this as someone who is um very confident in themselves this is someone who who is self-assured and um who's more ready to match you and this is going to be someone who's charming someone who is wanted by a lot of people but i see that this person is going to be focused on you scorpio so i do see that they they're not going to be entertaining other options they this is someone who knows their worth and um this is a loyal person very charming and charismatic as well so i am seeing that this new person could be a fire sign or an earth sign or even a libra with that the scales over there but it could be anyone these are just some some signs that are showing up here and i do still see that past person stalking spying being very obsessed this past person is not going to go without a fight though but i do still see you moving away from that um, person and being patient and waiting for your new person the person is very much i do see that you're about to come into this um your ships are coming in here so you are about to meet and connect with this new person and you'll know them they'll be a very generous kind-hearted and very warm energy this person um they will be able to match you as well is what i'm seeing so scorpio i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you okay Okay, so the oracle card says, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. 
Okay, so this is an energy reminding you to, to keep calm. Don't lose faith, Scorpio. I do see your manifestations are coming um, to fruition. This is an energy of, you know, having doubts. And so you are being advised to just take time to breathe out. You can relax. The universe has heard you. And I do see that your um, ships are coming in. What you've been manifesting, wishing for, hoping for, waiting for, it is coming. And this will be a much better person than the past one. There's no need to go back to this devil person because the new person is coming. And I do see that there will be, um, you know, someone much more on your level and they will match you. And you will be glad that you left behind that old situation. This is going to be a much more healthy situation coming towards you. So you can relax and know that your um, manifestations are coming to fruition so that's what i'm seeing for you scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio bye scorpio